Whoa. Whoa, that actually worked instantly. Nice. Alright. Uh, some days you just wake up and you feel like phenomenal. I don't understand those days. Oh uh, yeah, everyone's level 44 by the way. Um, Kyoko now has hyper voice or binding voice, which is a move I guess. I wanted to delete flash, but it's an HM move and you can't delete those. And so I got rid of fake out and I may, may regret that decision, but who knows. Uh, medicine learned willow. Sorry, burn powder. And I figured burn powder is probably better at survivability than synthesis, depending on the pogey with leech seed. So I got burn powder over synthesis. Uh, Yam learned a new move. It's called spider web. It's guaranteed paralysis with 80% accuracy. That's kind of cool. I figured it'd be better than agility, so I got that. Uh, nothing for Kasume. Nothing for Kasen. And Alice tried to learn something. I forgot what it was. I think it was not a bad move, but I couldn't think of a spot for it, so, you know. Alright. We're off to the races. So, Maribel's first pogey is Ellen, who is weak to Flash. And also, I have Early Bird, so if I can't beat Hypnosis Cheesed too much. But the rest of the fight is going to be uh, pretty... Pretty awful. I should have won by all rights last time I played, but I didn't because Pokemon happened and I got fully paired twice in a row and then I missed a burn. I should have just used a potion on Kasume, I guess, but that might have, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get this over with, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Alright, I don't have- wait. I don't even know if Beast is effective against you. I'll find out. Let me do this first. I don't fake it anymore! This is my first Beast move. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'm just not gonna hit myself in confusion. Told you. It's neutral. Pretty good damage, all things considered. I should have switched. Forgot it does that. Okay. But if I, even if I switch, uh, Yam doesn't do much in the way of attacking. Alright. A flash is super effective. Nice. I get at least one turn to sleep here. Okay. And I have to bank on two more, so I'm just gonna try and break confusion, I suppose. Okay. That's fine. That is... that is perfectly fine. See? One down. Oh, man. Technical Seeker. Technical Seika is fire ground, so she will die to a surf. The problem is it knows Rock Slide, so there's a 30% chance I just, you know, I just eat a dick, I suppose. So let's see what happens. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good. Try to jump the gun on that one. There you go. Hoorah. The whole squad came through. Technical Raisin. Raisin's heart. Yeah. I don't remember what heart's good against. I don't remember what I did to beat this thing last time. Heart loses to faith, right? I think- I'm pretty sure I used Kassen for this. See, I can't remember. I don't really know what Raisin's move set is in this game. I'm used to being a heart type with a bunch of reason type moves, so it's weird to decide which one I want to pick. That's fine. Oh yeah, and that should kill. Okay, maybe it'll para. Okay. There you go. 
<clears throat> yeah, I know it's. Uh, I know how they work because they're the starter types. They're fire, water, grass, in a sense. Mistia. I don't remember what I did for Mistia, but I'm pretty sure last time I flinched a bunch and I wasn't very happy about it. Um. I got put to sleep. Hmm. I guess I try and burn her. Let's try that. Let's try that. All right, all right. Half done, half done. Okay. Okay. All right, that's lucky. They all have some kind of sleep move. There you go. And now I press surf. And it does decent damage because rain's up. I'll take that. All right. Here comes the attacks, but 150 defense. Jesus, wow. Oh, right, light screen, that's why. It's not gonna die to burn. Sora's coming out, but nothing takes it better than Kasume anyway, so I'll just press Surf again. Yeah, look at that. What did I do against Misty last time? Because I swear it went a lot worse. Maybe it just put me to sleep and spam that. Okay, what what is Yukari? Legitimately, what is Yukari? She's is she a reason type? Uh, I'm gonna go with Alice, I suppose, because all that's left after Yukari is Reimu. It is reason. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, it's just using Psychic. That's fine. That's fine. I think I froze it last time. Oh, that works too. That'll make, that'll guarantee it to it, KO. Nice. Uh, you know what? That's still fine because even if it attacks me, I'd st I get I get three free turns of this. And if I get a crit or a high roll, apparently, we're done. Snore is a special type move. I probably could have just mirror coded there. Oh no, it no sleep talk. Okay. Rest, sleep talk, mana burst, and something else. No, it's fine. It's fine. It has to use it again. And AI can't use rest properly. Alright, roll rest and happy ending. Uh, that's fine. No, I think it's fine that reasoning doesn't resist reasoning. Because... Isn't that just what you call a debate? If a de if, if a reasoning wasn't effective against reason type, then it wouldn't be... Uh, Discussions would just be finger in your ears. La 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 la. That's not a. Uh, that's not reasonable at all. Psychic resists psychic because psychic resists psychic. I, I, if it didn't resist psychic, what would it resist, right? Anyway, I'm burning this thing this time. That's fine. It's not gonna do that much. So it begins. There's just no way I lose this, but come on. <laughs> I'm not listening. I can't hear you. La 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 la. Soundproof. Immune. Soundproof makes you immune to sound-based moves. 
But I guess, you know, just even if it's a reason type move, it's not like every move involves talking. I could have just, I could have just won this if I just pressed surf twice. Okay. Uh... Hmm. That's all right. It's all right. That's all right. It doesn't know anything like snore or sleep talk. It just has rest because it's defensive. But it's, t yeah, it's taking a fat chunk. <laughs> Soundproof is very effective against Tatori. Oh, what? Oh, it has early bird. Oh, that's disgusting. What kind of bullshit is this? It's okay, I'll just get a DS spadef drop. Free already? Oh my god. Early bird rest. I don't think I, there's a single Pokemon. Uh, there's not a single Pokemon I can think of that uses a strategy like this in a uh, competitive environment. Okay, alright. She, she gave up. She gave up. Alright, well, that was terrible, but it's over. Excellent. I was almost worried that you might be falling behind with your training. Oh. I have nothing to worry about. Keep it up. I think a small reward is in order. Fly. You just fly and your puppies will instantly carry it anytime you already visit your gym badge before tree first. That's important. Don't forget. You should fly home and visit Little Rue, but your mom's worried about you. Let's go meet it again somewhere. Fly. Here comes Scott. Haha, <laughs> way to go, Ranko. Just by a trainer, you beat that trainer. It's pretty obvious. The kid looked real upset with a face all red from anger. Wow, Scott's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Maribel's like, damn, you're pretty good. Anyway, here's a here's a free gift. Bye, see you later. And Scott's like, whoa, that guy looked pissed. What'd you kick his ass? Of course you did. He was pissed. It's like, geez, bro, learn to take a hint. Alright. Now let's get to the next bit of the route. Hooray! So chat. Well, not much has really happened, I suppose, in the span of one day to one day, aside from my editing. But while I was editing, while I was editing, I realized something. I like saying Hina's name. I thought about it for a little bit. What are the characters, characters who have names you just like saying? A lot of characters like that, though. Not even just like nicknames or anything, just like their names. I like saying I like saying Hina. I think that's my favorite, but then I think of other characters. Like I like that one too. I have no idea what I'm doing in this crab battle. <laughs> I like Rumia too. I like that name. Remilia is fine, but I like calling her Remy. Remy Remy's nice. Uh, I guess, I don't know, Flash? Ruma. I don't really care to say Nue, but I like saying Nu. Nu Huju. Alright. Kyoko is asleep. Kasume's coming out. They're like, the, uh, the nicknames are fine. Like, I don't, I don't... Well... Jun is a special case, I suppose, because I thought you pronounced Jun like Jun since her initial release, and I'd been pronouncing it like that for fucking years. I know it's not right. I know it's supposed to be pronounced like Joan, because there's an apostrophe between the O's, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like that. At this point, I, I've, I'm just, I'm stuck. I'm just stuck. I can't call her anything else. It's weird. Her name reminds me of the turnip lady from Animal Crossing. But I've been calling her Jin since I first saw her because that's what I thought it was pronounced as. And that's what I've been pronouncing it as anyway. I like it. It sounds better. And to me. 
So even though I know it's wrong, I will continue to use it, regardless of correction. Same with Sny. Uh, Needle Arm. I don't particularly care about the name Sanai, but I like saying Sny. I, I enjoy saying that. Alright, well, battle's over. Kogasa, you're scaring me. You're coming, Jones. <laughs> yeah. The Temple of the Crystal Skull. There she goes. Something unseeable is in the way. I see. Actually, I don't see. That's the problem. To hide a tree, use a forest. Correct. Dun, 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 dun. I like saying Chirbo more than I like saying Chirno. But that's that's just because I have a problem. That's all. Mei Ling's name is fine. Uh, Patchy Lee is, you know, it's, it's whatever. I like saying Patchy, though. I like her nickname. Sakuya... I think it depends on how you say Sakuya, whether or not it's it's fun to say. I like saying Sakuya. Sakuya. You put more emphasis on syllables and it becomes more fun to say. But if you say it like you're supposed to, ooh, like Sakuya, it's, it's it doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I'm like not calling her Wemmy. No. <laughs> oh, man. Flandre, Flandre is not a name particularly, I don't really, it's, it's fine. And Flan is just like the name of a type of pudding. So that one doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, Letty, I don't really care about Letty, so. Letty is just Letty, or Letty, whatever you want to call her. I pronounce her name like, uh, like it's two D's instead of two T's. I say Letty. Lily? Well, Lily's a special case, because Lily is Lily. I like... I like pronouncing the word white as two syllables. Lily white though. <laughs> I like saying Reimu. Yeah, me too. I like Reimu, but I like Reimu. Putting putting a stronger emphasis on, on the, uh, the Moo. <laughs> Reimu and Marissa. Reimu and Daze. Uh, Dayusei, I suppose, in Quack. So, yeah, it's Dayosei, I know. But I just... I read it as Dayusei for such a long time. And it's kind of stuck now. Even, I can't... I, I just... Uh, I pronounce it like that. Without thinking. And Quackama is just... Daksu. That one... That one just kind of happened. And now I, now I can't not pronounce it like it's a Quack. But that's that's my own fault. <laughs> that's my own fault. That's all. I want to buy some items. Maybe, maybe. You can also call Patchuli Pacholti. There we go. Hmm. Kaguya. Yeah, I like that name. Kaguya. <laughs> you put you put an emphasis on the middle, you turn her into a slime girl. <laughs> but back to the order. Chen. Chen is fun to say, but I think it's just because I've seen so many instances where Ron pronounces her name extending the ever-living hell out of the E. So it's just Chen! And it just it becomes fun to say the longer you extend the E's. Otherwise, Chen is just like it's just a name, right? Alice, Alice is, Alice is a fine name. I think Alice is a fine name. It doesn't, it, it's, it, but it, like, it's a name I'm familiar with, so it doesn't really do anything. Are you, you're like Earth Nature, right? It's usually what Yuka is. <sighs> uh, the Prison Rivers don't really do anything for me either. Merlin, Lunasa, Lyrica, their names are their names. Prison River is a cool, cool word. But yeah, they're, I don't really swing either way on that, I suppose. They are what they are. Yomu and... Yomu? And eh, Yomu doesn't really do anything for me either. Her name's fine. I mean, I like the way that 
I like the way that busy person Yiko says Yomu, but I think I just like the way busy person Yiko exists. So it's not really a fair like thing to say, I guess. Yiko is another name. It doesn't really do anything for me. Doesn't really do anything for me. It's just a name. It's not a bad name. It's just a name. Yukari as well. Yukari is a name I'm familiar with with other characters. But so, uh, the way I pronounce it, it's just, it's Yuko, or it's, uh, Yukari, but then when they pronounce it, it's like Yukari. There's like, there's more emphasis, I suppose, but again, it doesn't really do anything for me. Yukari, Yukari, Yukuri, and then Ron. Ron's, Ron's fine. Ron is strange to me because it, when I in English when I see that word I instinctively think of the past tense of run <laughs> so I don't see Ron I see ran a nice para you cutting Ron ran away but it's like R A N R A N Ron Ron Roo. When I first saw her name, I was- I actually, like, wasn't fully sure how to pronounce it. I- I- I had a general idea. But I was like, Ran? What? That's a name? And the only other character I've ever seen with the name Ron is, uh... The character from Detective Conan. Uh... Yeah, her. Her name is Ron. I was like, oh shit, it's like a real name. <laughs> Neat. Um, so I guess wriggle. Well, I don't wriggle. Wriggle is just a funny word, I suppose, because wriggle is like actually a word. And then her last name is just Nightbug, which you know, uh, I have bastardized the way some people pronounce the word bug. So <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a little fun to say. We we engage in a mild amount of tomfoolery. There's a dude there, right? I forgot. Wait, what's the what's the camouflaged puppet? Probably mommy's though. Uh, yeah, I'll stay in with these two. It's not my fault. Wriggle night boog. Mistia, Mistia is fine. Uh, and not, not much on Mistia. Kane's name is just difficult for me to remember how to pronounce. I don't have much. I actually don't have much fun with that one because I usually have to take a second. To think about how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Uh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of Aya. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, good good call on that. I, I struggled too much to remember how I'm supposed to pronounce Kane's name, so I don't enjoy saying it because I have to think for a moment before I open my mouth. Um, I like saying Tay. To be honest with you, I like saying Tay's name a little bit more when I thought it was pronounced Tui. Like when I thought you pronounced the W, and her name was just Tui. Tui, 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 Tui. <laughs> I like that. But I call her Tay, and Tay's still fine. I like Tay. It's nice and simple. It's nice and simple. But I do admit, I kind of I kind of like the pronunciation. With the W involved. There we go. Hmm. Raisen. Raisen's name. I don't put enough emphasis on the, on the Re part. Same with Reimu. I just like Reimu, but I just say Reimu. English pronunciation on R E I is very lazy. That's that's for sure. I'm not calling anyone out on that because I I do it too. I just. I noticed that uh, there's a lot of slack when I pronounce that's uh pronounce that one. Udong. I I don't really call her Udong though. I call her Udonge sometimes. But for the most part I, I prefer to call her Asin. I missed ya. Raisin Udonge Inaba. Big name! But I just call her Aisin, because I like the name of Aisin more. But, yeah. Lazy pronunciation on the REI. It happens, but it doesn't matter. You know what I'm- you know who I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Eden. Eden is one that I kind of have, like, 
manage to convince myself to pronounce the way that I do. Because I don't like calling her Aaron. So I, I have, I've been, oh, wait, that's a special move, isn't it? Uh, that's not very good. Oh, that's shit. Yeah, get that out of here. There we go. I don't like calling her Aaron, I, but like with E-I, it's like, it's not Aaron. Or not Aaron, but it's Aiden. It's weird. It's, I don't know. If you didn't, if you pronounce it like Aaron, I wouldn't fault you. But I just kind of went out of my way to make sure that I could pronounce it that way. And now it, it kind of stuck. That's all. And as I said, Kaguya. Kaguya is a, Kaguya is a fine name, but I like, I like Kaguya. The extra emphasis on the gooey bit. Hello, Steven. Now, if I use this device, no, rather you should just show you that'd be more fun. Your puppet's ready for battle? Sure are, bro. Invisible puppet. That's a Kecleon. I didn't make a Kecleon noise. Is it Mamizo or is it Nui? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Why is it level 46, though? Holy shit. Brave Bird? Okay. Oh, yeah. Give me a poison. I, oh, wait, what am I doing? Why am I using Why am I using poison? I can para. Para is the same rate of capture without the chip damage. Okay, we're good. Well, now that it's ingrained, I'm gonna poison it. Oh, but maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. Uh, Moko, I don't... Nah. Doesn't really do anything for me. Moko's name is just Moko. As far as I'm concerned. Does, doesn't do anything for me. Neither does Fujiwara. Or Huziwara. I was forgetting last names for most of those. But yeah, if I feel, I feel like I would have mentioned them. I do like saying Kami Shirasawa though. Just because it makes me feel smart. Uh, I have Yawn. It makes me feel smart when I can pronounce that one because it's so many so many letters long but it's it's just if you just break it up into three different words it's not that hard to remember oh son of a bitch yeah I can't use taunt anymore that's fine ingrain you son of a bitch oh man Kita Shirakawa. I can't remember Chiyori's last name, like, ever, but I remember it being similar to Kami Shirasawa. Mysterious made it faith type. Okay. Kami Shirasawa. There's like, it's like Shirakawa, like, backwards. Reversed. Taunt. Go ahead, taunt me, dingus. That should be good enough, I think. I don't want to get brave birded is all, which will kill me. I bought a bunch of ultra balls, ultra orbs, and all right. So moving on, I suppose. Yuka. Nice. Yuka doesn't do anything for me. Kazumi Yuka. Medicine melancholy is just two words together. A yokai from various legends. She keeps her true form hidden and can't stand it if somebody sees through her tricks. What's an alien? Goodbye, new. I see your battle style is intriguing. Your puppets have obviously grown since I first met you in Geofid. Who knows? Thanks to the devil scope. I enjoy seeing puppet trainers. Think you're doing great. At least meet again somewhere. Alright, that won't happen, but see you later. I like uh, Shamemaru Aya. But I think, I think a lot of people like Aya's name because Aya's name is silly. And even if you don't know anything about Aya as a character, you've seen, you've seen Aya-ya, so... Ah, yeah, yeah, it's just fun to say. Oh, no. Fine, I'll just kill it. Komachi is an interesting one. Because I think Komachi's... I like Komachi's name. Komachi. Komachi. Uh, her last name, though... Her last name, though, is what makes me laugh. Not because it's particularly funny or anything. But because you can pronounce it with, like, a D in there. But the D is silent, so it's not actually there. 
So you just look at her name, it's like Onoduka. And these these are the simple things, uh these are the simple things in life that make me laugh. Onozuka, but like it's the same with the title, Kaizuka. There's just like there's a D in there, but not really a D in there. So you don't pronounce it, but it's like kinda there, but you look at it and they just leave it out because if you look at it and you read it, you get Onozuka. It's weird. And I like uh Shiki Eki's name. Eki Shiki. I got a legitimate question. It's not like that it's like there's a D in there necessarily, but it's, so you know the game, the POFE, it's called Kaizuka, right? So it's, it's like, it's kind of, I, I think it's kind of like how for the, the Sue character, T-S-U, you know, you say Sue, but like, you, you don't pronounce the T. I guess it's more like how the W character in Tay's name exists, but you don't pronounce it. It's just like not there. So it's there and it's there in Kaizuka. Like if you look up Kaizuka on the Toa Wiki, I don't think it shows the D. But if you look it up other other places, it will use the D. So I actually had to ask Hawk and I when I was doing my video on that, like why is there a D here sometimes, and which one is correct? And he gave me a bit of a lesson on that, which I may have gotten a bit incorrect there because it's been it's been a while. But I'm pretty sure the general idea was correct. Oh, there's Moko again. Oh yeah, I caught one of these while I was grinding. They were rare by the Weather Institute. There you go. Hmm. Komachi Onoduka. There's no need to complicate it, right? It's why there are different- that's why Kurenai Mizusu exists. That's why Huziwara no Moko. Why Siamemaru Aya. There's little quirks, but we have, uh, we've come to, like, agree on one, one name pronunciation kind of deal. But it is neat to see how uh, interpretations can vary enough that a character's name changes. We'll get, we'll get there when we get there. We're still on Toho 9. So I, I had a question, though. How many people, when they first saw Eiki, thought her full name was Shiki Eiki Yamazanadu? There's no shame. There's no shame in this. Because I- that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought- I thought her name was Shiki Eki Yamazanadu. Like, first, last name. <laughs> but it turns out her name was actually Eki Shiki, first, last. And Yamazanadu is her title. I thought that was funny. Because I was so wrong. Shiki Eki sounds like a full name. And it turns out it is a full name. Her name is Eiki Shiki. Shiki is her last name. Eiki is her first name. But it's not Yamazanadu Shiki Eki. Yamazanadu is a cool title. Could have been a cool name. Oh no. Cringe. Cringe. All right, now we're on Toho 10. So Shizuha A Aki, Minoriko Aki. Eh. They don't they don't really I don't I, it doesn't it doesn't activate any neurons, I suppose. As I said, Hina, Kagiyama Hina. I just I just love the way you pronounce the the H I N A. You know, I just love the way you pronounce her name. Hina. <laughs> it's it's so soft. Even even when you don't try to make it sound soft. It comes out soft. It's such a soft name. <laughs> oh, wake up, damn it. Why am I at What the how do you do so much damage to me with fly? Get down here and fight me, you bitch. Wait, how did you heal? Oh, you have roost, right? Oh, you're really obnoxious. Hmm. Well, you'll run out of PP eventually. That doesn't even do that much. How am I at red? Alright, now miss your sing so we can end this battle. Pretty please. Sponge boy me bob! Uh, moving on. Nitori. 
Uh, well, Notori is another one of those characters who I deliberately mispronounce their name because I don't like the way their name sounds when I use proper pronunciation. <laughs> Although I like Kawashiro, but I don't like calling her Nitori because it, it, it sounds weird. Nitori. I like calling her Nitori because Nitori sounds more correct in my, um, to my vocabulary. Tokiko. Oh man, this is annoying. Uh, fuck it, Ian. I know how Jun's pronounced. Yeah, I mentioned that one earlier. Actually, I know her. I know how to pronounce her name, but I've been calling her Jun since I first saw her because that's how I thought it was, and it's it's stuck now. It's stuck, and I like it too much to change it. So I am I I am a bad influence, but it is okay. Yorigami one. <laughs> All right, just keep pressing fly. Just keep pressing fly. Just keep pressing fly. Um, stage four. Momiji is fun to say. I don't care much to say Inubashari, but I like I like saying Momiji's name because you can kind of mix it up. Keep you on your toes. I'm gonna get you with the spider web so you're paralyzed. Momizi. <laughs> oh no, it, no, I hate this thing. Oh, oh, dude. No. Inu Bashari is fine. But I like saying Momiji. Sometimes if I'm feeling daring, I say Mamiji. Uh, I already talked about Aya. I talked about Snai. I like saying, I don't like saying, I don't really care about saying Sanai or Kochia. I just call her Snai. I remove an A in her name and I'm good to go. Uh, Kanako, Yasaka, doesn't, doesn't do much for me. Suako Moria, I like saying Suwak, Suwako. But, uh, Suako doesn't do much for me either. She's just, she's just frog girl. I like her for different reasons than her name. Her name is just fine. But I like so I like saying Suwako. She's unhinged. Uh before before to 11, we can do the some of the the characters and the the written stuff. Uh I I I, I can't really pronounce Morichika. I don't know how to like for, I don't know how to pronounce it properly because it sounds like I'm skipping a letter or an entire syllable when I say it. Morichika? Like, it sounds like I just missed a letter in there. Like, I broke it. I hate this battle. I don't have anything for flying types. But Rinosuke is cool. I like Rinosuke's name. It's pretty sick. I think I just kind of like Rinosuke because there's so much stuff that people do with him. It's such a weird... Like, he can be taken... He can be taken all over the place. Sometimes he's cool, calm, and collected. Other times he's the butt of the joke. Sometimes he is the butt of the joke, but really buff at the same time. <laughs> so it's, it's okay. He is he is packing. Uh. Uh. Who else? I guess there's Raisin too, who borrows her name from Raisin because you know. So that character, I don't I don't care. Ichiden. Cool. I don't really care about that character. Um. Akyu. Akyu is a fun one to say. Hiera no Akyu. Just, I think it's just because the word Q is is the word Q, I suppose. But her name is fun to say. Same with Kozusu. I like saying Kozusu's name. Akyu and Kozusu. They, they got squishy names, which kind of fits their characters, I suppose. Kind of sounds like Mukyu. Well, I guess so. <laughs> Ah, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, it kind of sounds like that. I like those characters. Her name is Small Bell. Kozuzu Motori. Oh, I guess Motori Kozuzu. Sometimes I trip over my letters when you get S-U-Z-U together like that. Kozuzu or Kozuzu. Sometimes I forget which comes first. And then you kind of mix and match them. And I'd have to like look up which one's correct because they both sound correct enough in my head that I don't even bother correcting myself. Right, I forgot. Hold on. 
Run! There it goes. You don't get to battle that one. It just moves. Okay. Hmm. The three fairies of light. Well, their names are just yeah. Their names are just names. Uh. However, I th I do enjoy saying Sunny Milk. That 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 one that one that one I like saying. The other ones like Star Sapphire and Luna Child. Like Luna's fine. I like Luna. Star is fine. I like Star. But. But like sunny milk, when you say it all together, it's great. And I, I think that's partially because of Diose and uh in Busy Person when she said it. Who do I charge this car to? <laughs> who who am I charging this to? Sunny milk <laughs> Oh, there's nothing wrong with the fairy names. They're simple. They're they're they're, they're based around nature. They're based around nature. Except clown, I guess. Uh, you should be faith nature, I believe, right? I don't know. If, I don't know if beast is neutral against nature. Hmm. Don't make me flinch twice. That would be cringe. Oh, it's neutral. Okay. Let's see, that hit me twice for less than a hundred damage. Uh, I can live one more. She's gotta be weak to, f I don't know what she's weak to, I'm gonna put her to sleep. Okay. There we go. Alright, well, she's gonna pick a, a weaker option. Well, she can pick a weaker option now to finish me off. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Kasume for... To finish this, I suppose. Actually, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, I should've went, uh... Should've went Yam. Fuck. Okay. Well, I'm getting my free turn, at least, again. So that's fine. That covers the written work characters. I guess, well, not Mioi, or Mi Yaguchi, but they're, they're a little far in there. Okay. Uh, I forgot the Watatskis, but I don't, I don't really care about saying either of their names, because it's just Yorihime and Toyohime. Eh. Eh, I'm good. You're not gonna use extra sensory on me? Right, because extra sensory is a faith type move, not a reason type move. Okay. That works, that's fine. So on to 11, Kasume. Kasume doesn't, uh, it doesn't really do anything to me. Oh, heat wave, oh. 100, yeah. Same accuracy. Much greater power. Hmm. I gotta sneeze. Oh man. I'm good. Kasume's name is just what is what it is, I suppose. Uh. What else? <coughs> Front. Hmm. I like uh, Yam's name though, but. Yamame, Yamame, Yams. There's a lot. There's a lot of ways to say her name that I like saying it as. So I like her name. Kurodadi doesn't do much for me, but there's, there's you know nick nicknames. Nicknames go a long way, I suppose. Mizuashi Parsi, eh? There's there's not very many things about Parsi I particularly enjoy. I'd say the biggest thing I enjoy about that character is her theme, and that's about it. Um, you're a ghost. Can you reason with ghosts? No. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'll take that. Hoshigoma, Hoshiguma, not Goma. Yugi. Uh, Yugi's name is... I feel like 
maybe I'd like Yugi's name more if it was attached to a squishier character, and it didn't remind me of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. So I, I kind of have a... Uh, oh, I got a pair of fusion here. Oh, uh, well, now I'm going to get confused. Oh, we're good. This will be fine. Ah, uh, Yug. See? Yeah, right? Like, that's, that's, that's... I'll hit yourself. Please, 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 please. Good. I just think of, uh... I just think of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Because that's... That was the... That was my... That was my exposure to that name for the longest time. I got nothing against Yugi. Oh. Ugh. Mm. Uh, and Satori. Uh, actually, Satori's name doesn't really do much for me. Satori, Satori, whatever you want to say, Komeji Satori. Uh, it just, it's just, it's her name, but it's also like her species. It's just kind of, just kind of her name. Koishi, on the other hand, that's a squishy name. Koishi's name makes you like, like you can just. You can just think of like squishing down with with uh when you say that word. She has a squishy name for sure. <laughs> I jumped the gun though. Uh so Kain Bio Rin or Orin. Orin's a cute nickname. And Reuji Utsu, Oku, Oku's a cute nickname. Those characters have nicknames that they're more or less, uh, well, I guess not defined by, but if you asked somebody who Satori's pets were, they would probably give you, I guess it depends on how you ask the question, but I feel like most people would answer Orin and Oku when anything involving those characters, because that's how a lot of people know them. I do know their full names, but I wouldn't be surprised if some people only really knew them by their nicknames, because their nicknames are what a lot of people use. A lot of people call her Orin. Even Or, even Orin herself prefers to be called Orin. That's why they call her Orin. But her name is Kaim Byorin. Reijutsu. I wouldn't say it's too complex, but her nickname is definitely very different from her actual name. Well, SA emphasizes Orin because, as as I said, Rin herself prefers that nickname. Like, she she's the one who is advocating to call her that. So, it's... Oku, on the other hand, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about that one. I guess that's just what or Orin calls her, and it just kind of took over. Nah. Because, like, yeah, Orin, Rin, that's pretty close to each other, but... Where in Reuji Utsuho does Oku come from? <laughs> right? Where does that come from? Confusion! Ku is an alternative pronunciation for Utsuho. Oh. So what is the o So I guess the Oku just comes from... Oh, I see. Kind of like how Oren... Oren Oku. Oh, I see. So the O just... Okay. Okay, okay. I think I get it. Pretty sure that he also her name is spelled like we we say it with a J, but it's got like a Z in it, Reuzi or something like that. But it's Reuzi. I don't know. Fair, that didn't do anything. Needle arm. Is O is a beautifying prefix in Japanese? Oh. So, Orin and Oku. I see. Now I understand. Like how tea is actually called cha, but it's always called ocha. Oh! I'm learning. Okay. Is that why they say ohime-sama? Instead of just hime? They put the O in front of it? Is that why it's called otome? And not, not just tome? Ooh. Okay, I never knew that. That's why they say One-sama. Ooh, I see, I see, I see. But then what about Oni? 
Oh, nay and like nay so I know you can leave the O out, but what about Oni? Because that's masculine, right? Because Oni refers to a, a guy. Hmm? I don't- this battle is happening right now, and I probably should switch out, but I'm more invested in the conversation right now than I am at the actual fight. Also, her stats keep going up. Oni-san is older brother, or Oni as in demon. Like, yeah, like, like, uh, like brother. Like brother, because Oni, I assume, is not- is not Ni, right? It's Oni. But you- I've heard, like, Nisan, right? As for, like, to refer to brothers. But then Onisan also like exists, right? Well, Onisan refers to just like, you know, yeah, older, older fella, I suppose. Uh, fuck, dude, I don't know. Just go for a para. Oh my god, chip damage, dude! Chip damage. Okay. And then there's Nissan. Yes, correct. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting off topic. But I did- I have learned why Oku and Oren have the nicknames they do. That is- I've learned. That is, uh, that is neat. That is neat. I- I enjoy that informations. But let's move on to, uh, alright, we- we forgot, uh, we forgot the fighting games. Sika. I like saying Sika's name. It, it just, it carries. It also has a squishy a atmosphere to it. Ibuki is alright. I like Ibuki. Ibuki Suika. But the way you say Suika's name, the middle, I, I like, uh, I like, I like how it carries. Uh. Reason's good against the dark. Which is weird. But I remember that. Sirika, Sirika. Surupetan Surika. Shy Beam. Iku Nagai. Nagai. Her last name confuses me. But it's kind of basically just like Sanai. But it, it NG instead of SN. Reason's neutral to dark? She's just dark miasma. Oh, okay. Iku's got a funny name, but Iku's name, you know. I'll just leave it at that, I suppose. I like Tenshi's name. Tenshi's name just means angel. But I like her last name because you leave the W out and it's just Hinanai. Because, did you notice that? Did you notice there? The first half of her last name is just saying Hina again. <laughs> there you go. Hinanai. <laughs> so Tenshi is a nice name. Hata no Kokoro. Kokoro is just heart. Hata is just the name. But I'm jumping the gun a little bit there. There's Hime Kaido uh, Hatate. We call her Hat. Because that's her. That's just what we call her, I suppose. Hatate doesn't do much for me. As a character and as a name. But calling her Hat's kind of funny, so, you know. Okay, on the toe, 12. Uh, Nazarin? I have, uh, I don't know. Nazarin's name doesn't really do anything to me. I like Nazarin as a character. But her name is just kind of her name. Sometimes I just call her Rat. But she's not a rat. She's a mouse. So, but I just call her Rat anyway. Um. Then you have Kogasa. I like her last name, Tatara. Tatara Kogasa. I also like that her name is just Umbrella. <laughs> I like her name, but it's just kind of her name to me. Uh, Ichiden Kumoi. Unzan. Eh. Alright, Ichiden's okay. Kumoi is whatever. Unzan is just Unzan. This is the guy with the Minetric, I believe. Um, Minamitsu Murasa. Eh. Doesn't do anything for me. Thunder, hear my cry. 
Her name doesn't do anything to me, but I like calling her Cat Marasa. Sny. Sny is going to hit me with some lightning bolts. It's neutral. Nice. That's that Euro beat pack, right? Oh, it's different. It's got Usate in it. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Karakasa Obake. Ah. Her names have meanings. All characters' names have different meanings. Nazalin. Uh, Nazarin's a beast type. Kasume. New, new. Japan, new. Oh, I see. I don't know how many more. Well, I, I can buy song packs. I don't know how many. I don't know if I'm going to buy another character, though. Character DLC rubs me the wrong way when I see it. Do surf. There's Thunder. Yeah! Nazarin can learn Thunder, as all rats can. I didn't do that much. I didn't do that much. Don't worry about it. Hua. Show. Mm <clears throat> Lyrica. She should be a ghost type, right? Can you reason with ghosts? I don't know. I don't know who Aeon is. I don't I don't know much about Fire Emblem. Toramaru Sho. I like Sho, but her name is just doesn't do anything to me. It's just Sho. Hijiri Byakuden. It's a fine name. Aeon is the boss. With bottling, bolting in the first Kishuna chapter in FE7. Oh. Uh. Shit, I might die. Thunder, thunder, hear my cry. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Uh, Lyrica, Shadow Ball, Yam. Get him, yam, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Sh wait, ghost doesn't affect ghost. Wait, wait, I think I'm wrong about that. Ghost doesn't affect dark. Acha! Oh man, come on. A Nazlock, you can only use Nazarins. <laughs> At least she has four forms. Hmm. Kacha. Um, who was I at? All right, of course, New Huju. Nue Hojo Nue. Her name is pronounced completely differently than what I would ever tell anyone. But that's my own fault. Her name is fine, but I like saying it the way I do. Because I think it's funny. That's all. Nitori. I hope she's not a steel type yet. That would be cringe. New Huju. You just gotta not pronounce the uh, the syllable, the, the second syllable in all of her, uh, in her first name, and then incorrectly pronounce the syllable in the last name. Just like Tuhu, we call her Huju. And on to thirteen, uh, Yoshka, Miwako. Yoshka doesn't really do anything for me. Oh, big ass Tay. The thing about Yoshka is that I don't pronounce the I. It's Yoshika, right? Yoshika. But I pronounce it like Yosh, Yoshka. Like, like the Eggman. Eggman talking and then Ka. Instead of a Joshi. Joshka. She could be a. She's a good. She's a good Joshi, I suppose. So I. I. I don't think I've, I. Like I'd have. You'd have to slow down how I pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure I don't pronounce the I. But if I try to think about it and I try to pronounce it with a with the I or without the I, it's 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 weird. So I just call it Yoshka. It just it sounds right. So I just I just say that. I I might be missing a letter in there though. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> 
This gym is flying type, by the way, and I don't have any Pokemon. Like, my puppets don't do well against flying types. So, yeah. My best puppet for flying types is neutral damage. I, I fucking hate flying types, apparently. I need a wind type for that, but this, tra this gym is, like, basically optional. So, I don't have to do it. Ain't that some, ain't that some shit? I don't even gotta do it. More rats. I put my fast up front, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, who's next? I feel like I skipped someone. Oh, I skipped Kyoko! I like Kyoko's name. Kasodani Kyoko. Zen headbutt. That's fine. Horse palm. Beast is weak to faith. Kyoko! Kyoko. Actually, Kane is Reason Steel, so this would be neutral. Oh, not even Steel type. Never mind. Wait. No, she is a Steel type. But that's not a Fighting type move. That's a Faith type move. God damn it. My brain is all kinds of fucked up with this. Man, I don't even know, like, what's good against steel anymore. Is it dream? I know fire and earth are, but does dream? That's fine. Pain. Oh, that didn't do shit. Man. Dream, fire, and earth hit steel. Okay, so, dream, yes. Because Dream is basically the fighting type equivalent, but I fa Force Palm is not a fighting type move, so <laughs> my brain immediately thought it was. I looked at Force Palm and I saw that, and I was like, "Oh yes, so this means that this is this was the type that's effective against Steel." A Dream is weird for fighting. Well, Miji is Steel Beast, times four weak to fire, but she's also times two weak to rain, and it's raining. Or water, but it's raining, so it'll basically be more effective to Momiji than a times four move. And that's crunch, so it won't flinch me. Dreams matchup with dark is the opposite of the fighting is. That's so confusing! Holy shit! <laughs> so many things that work exactly the opposite of actual Pokemon. And it's hard to remember them because everything is from Pokemon is so ingrained. I'll keep Alice up front. Just gonna walk around, stand. Nuggy. Okay. Then you have Sega Kaku. Uh, I don't I don't really like that character to begin with, but calling her Sega, you know, gives me a little bit of a chuckle, I suppose. But Kaku? No thanks. I'm good. Aris. I know this bogey. It's weak to this move. Hey, uh! Tojiko. Soga no Tojiko? Eh. However, Mono no 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 bay no Futo. Not only is her last name and. Like, her first name and last name are both fun to say. So she's she's got both uh, both ends of the spectrum. Under control. Just because you, you tend to include a few, one too many no's in her name when you say it. There's Mana Burst. Nice. Toyo Sato Mimi no Miko. Yam. Yeah. Miko's name is fine. 
But sometimes when they say Miko's name, I think of I think of Reimu because she's she's a Miko, but then Miko is like actually a character. And sometimes it depends on how old a game is, whether or not Miko's even in it, but then they call something Miko anyway, and I'm just like, is that Miko or is that Miko? Who, who what Miko is that? It happens. I've I've I, I've thought I've thought one way or the other before. Because her name is Miko, but Miko is also, you know, the term for Shrine Maiden. How could they Miko? That didn't kill it. I thought ice would be effective against Earth. Well, this is what I get for trying to min-max my PP usage here. That's not even what min-maxing is. I was just being incredibly cheap. And now I've lost half my HP on all Alice here. Oh, well. Parse. I don't know what parse is. Uh, she should be a miasma type, right? Assuming this guy's team. She also has stinky clouds, and I remember Koga had one. I don't know what type that is. I see. Do I have an earth type move? I have dig. Okay. Down, down, down. Single beam is heart. Oh. She's heart dark. That kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I'd never think of that combination for this character. Wow, that works. You have, okay, and then there's, uh, Mamizo. Futatsuiwa Mamizo. Doesn't do anything for me. Futatsuiwa is kind of neat, but for the most part, Mamizo's name is just, it's whatever. It's whatever to me. It's whatever to me. She's kind of a weirdo. Yeah. I, I tend to think she's a poison type because of the clouds around her. Okay. Oh, big old die. Futatsuiwa. She is a tanuki after all. Oh, I should just press poison. Dayose is annoyingly fast. And total 14. So it's Wakasagi Hime. Not Wagasaki. In case you didn't know, because I I pronounced that incorrectly, so I have learned it is Waka Sagi, not Waga Saki. Remember this. This is this is going to be on the test. It, yes, I got the K and the G mixed up all my life. Seki Banki. I like saying Seki Banki's name now. Her name is her name is fun to say. I hate how everything is fast, and I can't run from it. So I'm just going to destroy it. There you go. Seki Banki. And you have Kagero. Well, God, what was her last name again? What was it? Oh, no. Was it Imazuni? I don't think so. Imaizumi. Okay. I was close. I missed the eye. Kagodo's name is fine. I like the way it rolls off the tongue on the last uh, syllable. Are you serious? <laughs> well. All right. She is based off an extinct wolf, so. And she also is not a very, uh. Oh, really? Wow. She's also not a very, uh. You know, in the spotlight kind of wolf. Kind of a cool name for her. Cool name. <laughs> Let your neighbors know you're definitely not a werewolf. 
She has she has wolf ears, dude. She's got wolf ears. Everybody knows she's a wolf. What's your name? Hugh Man, sir. Hugh Man. Hmm. That's a name I can trust. <laughs> And you have uh, Sukum, uh, the Sukumo, Sukumo sisters, which their last names, I always feel like I'm pronouncing them wrong. Yatsuhashi and Ben Ben. Ben Ben's funny. It's a funny name to say. Yatsuhashi is a name that people forget. So I don't, they don't really do anything for me. They just kind of, they're just kind of names, I suppose. It only takes one one good PV for uh, for people to remember a character's name. I think Yatsuhashi has a better name. I just think Ben Ben's funny. It's a funny name. It's fun to say. You got Kenshiro poking as a song. Ow. Ben Ben 10. And we have uh, Seija. Kijin Seija. That name doesn't do anything for me. Shinmyo Maru Sukuna. I like her nickname, Shimmy. Little Shimmy Jimmy. But her actual name, eh, doesn't do much for me. Shinmyo Maru. It's kind of fun to say, actually. Sakuna, on the other hand, is just, it is a name, I suppose. That's my opinion on that. And Raiko Horikawa. I like Raiko's name. Raiko is a cool name. Horikawa is neat. Oh, I guess uh, Renko and Maribel. They don't really do anything for me either. Renko, Usami, and Maribel Hearn. They don't really do anything for me. Just remember those two were characters. As I've been running around with Renko this entire time. Force Bomb! Raiko's just a cool name. Oh yeah! Nice. I better not flinch. Don't flinch, son of a bitch. Good job. Oh, I forgot about Kasen. Ibaraki Kasen. That's yeah, fine. It's okay. Wriggle. Her last name sounds better. Her name is Thunder Drums. Yeah, because the Ko is like drum, right? Because I think of Taiko. But then Rai is like Raijin, right? Which is like thunder. So it's the combination is Raiko. Is that correct? Am I correct with that, uh, that assertion? Is the streamer no? I took a lot of damage from that. It's okay, because you're dead. Streamer knows? Yes. Pog. Pog. Streamer got it. Uh, Yam. Adis. Her name means Thunder Drum. That's it's kind of sick. I've never looked into the meaning of characters' names. But I know that the their names are specific. And, like, actually have meaning to them, which is cool. Like, I'm pretty sure Reimu's name has the characters for, like, Dream and Fantasy in it. Now I press Aurora Beam. <laughs> uh, again, I never really looked into them, though. Lost it. That's why I'm interested in when some characters' names changed. Like, with, uh, in, in Yuko's case, her names were, like, y Yuka or Ayaka. Or even more interesting, the Yakumo name, which was Suzukaze, but we only know that by the English, uh, the English that you could see in the game, and it's, there was never actual any kanji given to it, so I have no idea what Suzukaze was going to mean at any point. That would have been neat to figure out. I wonder if Zun even remembers that, if you asked him. Do you think he'd even remember that he had a different name for them in mind at some point? Wow, 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 wow. Get these petra berries. You never know when you're gonna need them. Uh, moving on. 
I guess next is... We did Urban Legend in Limbo. 14.5. He might? You might. You just have to ask him, right? He, he does a lot of shit with Toho. I wouldn't be surprised if he forgot that name change from nearly 20 years ago. Because this was before the game even came out. This was like for... This is uh, demo versions. And it was only present in one demo version that like was pretty much... Uh, what do you call it? It was pretty much, uh... Imp I guess improved on? I don't really know the best way to say it. Like, I'm, I'm forgetting the word here. Obsoleted, I guess? There we go. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, on the to total 15. Say that in Ringo, the rabbit has landed, you know. Their names are not actually references to fighter jets. It just, I guess that's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh, whoops. Satan's name is, uh, it's alright. Ringo's name, I just think of the fucking Beatles guy. That, that's, that's all. She's just like a Beatles joke to me. Yeah, he got asked about Rin Satsuki in 2013. And he, he had, a, he didn't really remember that. Rinsatsuki only exists as a name in the code for him. So I'm not surprised he just kind of like forgot. He might have just been playing it up. Who knows? He, he, he's, uh, he's the creator. He can, he, the creator can get away with a lot of shit. Look at JoJo's, for example. <laughs> Look at JoJo's. One, one of the, one of, a staple meme in the JoJo's community is just Araki forgot. So sometimes, sometimes when you go at it for as long as you do, you just forget stuff. So the explanation for why certain things change or are no longer present is simply because <laughs> they forgot. Look at, uh, look at, uh, Dragon Ball. Toriyama forgot Launch was a character, so she just disappeared. That's why. There was no grand reason as to why. He just forgot she was a character, so she stopped appearing. We, sometimes, as fans, we read really hard into things to try and find reasons for them. But sometimes the truth, the truth is uh, just that the creator is human too, and they forget things. <laughs> they just forget things. It happens, it happens. It's always funny when you see like these big old speculation theories and whatnot as to why characters suddenly stopped appearing and such. But it's usually just, it's the, usually the reason isn't anything grand or spectacular. It's just, it's a simple explanation. Well, to be fair, Zen hasn't forgotten about Mima. I, I, he, I, I, there's no way he's forgotten about Mima. She's just never coming back, that's all. I'm moving on. Dorami. I like Dorami because if you say her name, it sounds like Do, uh, Dorimi. Her name, Dorami Sweet, sounds like Dorimi Sweet, like Dream Sweet, when you say it uh, a certain way. Also, I like her, uh, I like her hat. I like her, her W mouth. She's one of those, she's a character that I can excuse for that, because I, I don't know, I just do. You can't just post W mouth and expect to get away with it, but some characters, some characters can. Some characters can get away with murder. She's one of them. <laughs> Alright, I'm back to heal. Uh, Sagume Kishin... Uh, not Kishin. Yeah, no, Kishin. Her name sounds close to Sega. Sagume Kishin. Her name's kind of neat. But it doesn't do much for me. Clown Piece has a funny name because her name is Clown Piece. Chat, do you call do you call Clown Piece Clown, or do you call her Peace, or do you call her Clown Piece? I I've seen, I'm pretty sure some people refer to her as one name or the other, but I tend to prefer I tend to call her by her full name. I've never called her Clown when referring to her. I've always specified like the Peace part, but I don't think I've ever just called her Peace before. If I'm calling her Clown, I'm not, like, directly referring to her, I suppose. Or I'm making, like, a joke. But when addressing, like, that character, I, I refer to her as Clown Piece. By her full name. 
No, stop getting in the grass. You cannot handle those battles. I heard a ride on. Pretty sure it was just Ichiro, though. No. Is there anything up here that I can... Do you want to battle? You do. I know the ancient ruins. Don't worry, I got it. Ooh ha. Then you have Junko. Junko's got a funny name as well, but also not really funny. At the same time, it, I guess it just kind of depends on who you're asking. Oh, Amnesia, huh? She's got a neat name. Some people call her Junkie. That's a weird name, though. But there's like there's something about it that makes me laugh. Nice. Even with Amnesia up. And then Hecatia. Lapis Lazuli. Blech. But Hecatia is funny because you can just call her Heck. Welcome to Heck. That's her. It's just a name. Her name is just Junko. I'm sure the characters used for that for that name have a certain meaning to them. But her name is just maybe it's, maybe the idea is it's just supposed to be basic because it's pure. I don't know. Welcome hell. And then of course we have Sumi Reko. They're pure in Fox. Ah, see it works. It works. Kasume. Sumi Reko. Yep. Hmm. Uh, what do I want to do here for this? Fire water is a weird type. I'm going Yim. She's just Junko, yep. Sumireko, I don't like her name. I don't like it. It feels like two different, like... Two different, like, uh, prefixes stuck to each other. So it doesn't like sound like it's a complete name. Her name is also yes, it's a threat. Sumi Reko. <laughs> oh, that didn't do any damage at all. Okay, that did more than it should have, but it was a crit, so it's okay. Back underground I go. Usami Sumi. See, that, that sounds funny, but Sumireko... Oh man, your defense is too high. That bucket, what's it made of? It's made of wood, goddammit. It's so strong. Fifth, uh, then you got uh, 16, 16, so you got uh, uh, Eternity Larva. Her name is just, I don't know, her name is just two words, I suppose. It's like, it reminds, it's like Medicine Melancholy. It's just two words that I know, that I look at and I'm like, yep. There's something grand about her, her name, but then her last name is just Larva. It's, it's such a contrast. You get a word like Eternity, and then you got Larva. <laughs> Forever, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Nemono Sakata, Sakata, whatever her name is. I don't care about her name, so I barely remember it, to be honest with you. Komanu, aww yeah. I like An's name. An's name doesn't even really sound like a name, but I, I, I dig it. Aw yeah. Oh, I could have been using cross poison. Or you can call her Aun. Like the goddamn Mario Paint sound effect. Ah, ooh. <laughs> I like on. Uh, Narumi. I like I like Narumi's name. Yatadera. That doesn't really do anything for me, but Narumi. Her nickname Naruko. Uh, take it or leave it. But I like Narumi. It's got a soft, a soft essence to its name. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Yada dada. Tammy. Kana!
ghost. My and Satono. My Tareda and Satono Nishida. Uh, they're just names. I don't really think much of those characters to begin with. I like Okina's name. Okina Madara. Madara, like, when I think of Madara, I think of, uh... I think of, uh, well, I, I say I think of the Naruto character, but I don't know anything about Madara in, in, in that. I just, I just remember the name. The big, the big guy, Madara. Uh, it's energy light. Go ahead, confuse Ray me. Okina Matara. It's the, the T in her name. Okina is a cool name. She's got a good Oki game. Her wake-up game is insane. <laughs> and then the extra stage, which is her again. <laughs> oh, man. And then 15.5, you got Sean and John. Those are good characters. I like those characters. Very Americanized characters right there. <laughs> Yorigami Sean and Yorigami John. Xion's a fine name. Uh, and Joan, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know about Joan. I like Joan and Xion. I'm gonna stay in. Yorigami. That looks sharp. You dropped it though. You might want to pick that back up. Hmm. The first na time I've ever seen the the name Shion is from Higurashi with her sister Mion. Yeah. Can't be that sharp. It looks. It's supposed to be a sh uh, like. I don't know what you call that thing, actually. Does that... Does that piece of the instrument have a specific name? I don't actually know what to refer to it as. Because she's got the... You know, she's got the violin. But what the hell is the... What is the piece you use? It's because, you know, you use a guitar pick. It's called a bow. Is it? So the violin's bow? I didn't know that. I've never really thought about it. Does that apply for other instruments like it? Like the cello and whatnot? Are they all referred to as the bow? Well, that was brutal. Yes? Neat. Alright. All string instruments use bow. Okay, I learned something today. I don't know much about musical instruments, so... This has been... This has been a lesson, I suppose, for me. I don't play a flute. I play a pipe. Uh, moving on. What character? Uh, 16, 17. Uh, Ebisu Eka. Ebisu is kind of fun to say, but the character is... Well, she's just an Ebisu, so... You know. There's not much there's not much else to say about that than, than that, I guess. Uh, Udemy. I like, I like Udemy's name. Uchizaki. Ah, eh, it doesn't do anything for me. But Udemy's a fun name to say. Uh, Kutaka. Uh, what's her name? Oh, God. What was her last name? Nawa... 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 Nawatari? I think it was? Niwatari. Niwatari. Okay. Niwatari Kutaka. I knew I had a, I knew I had it close. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's it's setting up on me. Oh shit! I'm gonna get swept. Gee, if I could just like hit this thing, that would be great. Kutaka's got a neat name. Uh, Yashie. Yashie Kuchou. 
whose name I was pronouncing uh, for, uh, incorrectly for a long time. I pronounced her name ya Yashi for for so long. And I think that's partially just because of my, my pronunciation of the word Yoshi. Well, I call him Yashi. So I call I called Yachi a Yashi. Yashi's competing. And that was my own fault. I correct I, I managed to put myself in that situation. I never really thought about it, but her her first name has C H I E, so it should be pronounced Yashie. And Yashie sounds pretty good. But sometimes I call her Yashi. I corrected myself for the most part since then though. Uh Mayumi, I like I like the name Mayumi. I don't, uh, her, her last name, Jotogo. I just remember that name because of Johto. Like, Pokemon, Johto. Jotogo. And then you got Haniya Sushin, which is a big name, but it has Haniya in it. Keiki. And Keiki has a fun name to say because her name is Keiki. Come on now. Can't tell me that isn't fun. I like Saki's name as well. Kurokuma Saki. Boy, uh, uh, do I crab battle this EM? No, I don't. I don't remember Mioi's last name, but I think Mioi has a nice name. I like Mioi's name. Oh, no. It's happening. Uh... Mike, I forget her last name. Is it like Golden Kenji or something? I don't remember. I don't remember the last names of the tall 18 characters like at all. I know that it starts with a G and ends with like a KI though. Goto Kuji. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember the bits between them. Uh, I like. Uh, I like. I like Mike's name just because I call her Mike. More so than because I like Mike as a name. Michael, it's your birthday. Nice. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Michael, it's your birthday. Takane, I, I, Takane's name is okay, but it took me a long time to figure out how to pronounce it correctly. I've always pronounced it as Takane, but it's just Takane. But Takane sounds weird to me. Takane sounds better, but I, I'm not gonna call her that. And I believe her last name is Yamawaro. Because she's a... She's a... She's a mountain kappa. So her name is really close to her species. Sanyo's name is... It's Yamashiro. Yamawaro is the name of the kappas. The mountain kappas. So Yamashiro is her last name. Okay. Sanyo's name is neat. Mountain castle. Like how Nitori is river castle. Yeah, Kawa. Kawa is river, and I guess Shiro is castle. Kawa Shiro Nitori. That's pretty neat, Ori. <laughs> uh, I don't remember Sanyo's last name at all. But I don't really care about Sanyo to begin with. So, you know. Her name is kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I, I... Komakusa. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna remember that. I do know Misumaru though. Misumaru's uh, name is... I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is Misumaru's name? <laughs> um... Tamatsukuri, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, that sounds that sounds correct. I don't even know what's good against ghost types. What is super effective against ghost types? I have no fucking clue. Misamaro Tamatsukuri, yes. I couldn't remember that at all. Oh, one last confuse ray. Okay. Ghost and beast. Beast is good against ghost? Huh. Okay. Yuko's ghost nature, so peace is neutral on her. Oh, that's annoying.
Wait, I have Shadow Ball on this Pokemon. Alright. Oh, no. Okay. Then you have uh, Sukasa, who... I don't remember Sukasa's last name. Wow, we're really doing this. All right, cool. Kudamaki. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that at all. I remember her name because it's this, uh, the, the reason she was the first character whose name I fully remembered because it was the same name as the character from Lucky Star. Sukasa. I like the name Sukasa anyway. Kaguya. She's nature, I remember that. I'm about to fall asleep, though. Uh-oh. Go yam. Sukasa, yeah. Kagamine. It was Kagamine the name of her sister, not their last name. I can't remember. But she's one of the... She's uh, one of the sisters. From Lucky Star. Oh, it's uh, Takagi and Sukasa. Forget their names, their last name. I'm pretty sure it was Kagami, though. This Konata was Izumi. Pretty sure Miyuki was Takumi. I don't remember, but I did. I used her as an example in a. I did use her as an example in Tolvania video. But I'm pretty sure it started with a T. She counts as like one of the four main characters, but she shows up pretty infrequently, huh? This creature is annoying, but I will uh, get a crit and I will destroy it. That's all. Megumu Izunamaru. Izunamaru is a funny name. I think it's a funny name. And Megumu is fine. Reminds me of Megumi, though. The explosion wizard. I just need a crit. If I just get one crit, I'm good. She has an insane HP stat. Oh, that's great. There's the crit. got Primeape. How ironic that she has Primeape's Cry of all Pokemon. The Angry Monkey. Okay, move out. We're going to Mount Pyre. Okay, bye. This is Isabella. Okay, yep, this is great. I thank you for sharing your happiness with me. I very much care. Thank you. I'd like to get to the Pokemon Center and then backtrack. Yeah. There's a lot of trainers here. A full ass Mistia. Okay. And then you have Thank You Shimada, who both of her names are fun to say. Why can't I run? I like Thank You and I like Shimada. They both they're both nice. Momoyo uh Himemushi. It's a good name. As well. I like that name. Both of them. And then Totetsu Yuma. I like that name as well. Totet I like calling her Totetsu, but sometimes I call her Yuma. Don't do it, motherfucker. Don't do it. Don't do it! Yeah! I like saying Totetsu, but I also like the name Yuma. It kind of reminds me of how I say I call Rumi a Ruma, but this time it, like I can call her Yuma and it be correct. There we go. I don't know. I like her stature, I suppose. I also like her smile. 
her big toothy smile. She's got she's got one of those shit eating grins that like I don't even like see it as a shit eating grin. I, I just see it as adorable. I like sharp teeth apparently. All smiles. Oh, all right. Wait. I'm putting you to sleep. Uh oh. There you go. That's what the emote is based on. It's based on the image from the from the the Origami Sisters ending, where they're just chilling, and then Totetsu pokes out of the uh, of the oil, and it's just like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> what is Aya weak to? Only ice, right? Because she's wind flying. I don't remember the ghost lady's name. I just call I call her Miyaguchi though because I think that's correct enough. It's me Yaguchi. You got to stress the first syllable every time. It gets people riled up. You can mix it up because both of her names have start with me. You could be talking about her twice. It's not Mima. No, Mima is not Gucci. Pretty sure her name is like Miyuchi, Mima Gazuchi or something, but I just call her Mia Gucci because that's how I remembered it, and it's 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 kind of stuck in my head that way, and I I don't know if I can fix it. Oh, right, I forgot. PC-98 Yuka is called Kazumi. Look at her, long hair, pants, tall. Why did, what happened? Why did she change? Why didn't she stay this way? Things could have been so much better. Well, I guess her height didn't change, but you know what I mean. Whoosh. Uh-oh. I feel a sneeze. Yeah, mi Mizuchi Mia de Gucci. That's what it was. Mia de Gucci. I Mia de Gucci. It reminds me of the meme of the I cook it the pasta. You know? I, I cook it the pasta, but it's but it's her name. I Mia de Gucci. <laughs> This is, this is, this is, this is, this is just me. It's me, Zuchi, me, Yadaguchi. How do you not read her name like that though, right? Like, her name is Miyadaguchi. <laughs> what if her name was Maya Daguchi? We call her Mima. Oh man. There's already a Mimi, yeah. <sighs> I don't even know what Nanab berries do, but they're here, so I want them in my bag. That's all. Alright, battle me. I've, they've never tasted defeat on my next when I'm entering them in contests. Okay, dude. Oh, yeah, right. I like when the puppet Rikas are shown like this, where she's just like hanging on top of a giant eyeball creature. Oh, I didn't do enough. Huh. I wonder if this will work. 
Same power. Okay. Punch. And right, now that you've boosted your physical defense. Congrats. Tenshi! Uh. Tenshi is definitely Earth. Hot dog girl. What are you doing? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Alright. Now watch as they do it again. Oh no, Knuckle Blast! Oh, that's not doing much. Okay. Or you can just hit five times. You have a King's Rock too? Scum? Okay. Hey, it didn't do much, but it only hit me once. But when it hit me five times, it did a fucking lot. <laughs> if a 20 base power move hits you five times, it becomes a 100 base power move. Does she have skill link? Do you think Tenshi would be the kind of character to have an ability called skill link? I would say no. But then again, who knows? She probably just rolled five on me naturally because she's incredibly lucky. Maybe that's her ability, super luck. Not that that ability exists here. Yeah, she would have serene grace or super luck. Put like that. She could also have the ability stamina. She has airlock. Oh. Ew. Oh god. What are these? Wait, this is Ditto, right? If I remember correctly, this thing is considered the Ditto of the game. Hmm. Isn't skill link an ability in Gen 3? I, I actually don't remember if anyone had skill link in Generation 3. Uh, putting Yam up front. No. When was skill link introduced? Who was it introduced on? Oh, Momiji. Because I know Cloyster has it, but, you know, Cloyster's Gen 1. Oh, no. Alright, fine. And Gen 4, Cloyster got it. Okay. So, Cloyster was the first one to get it, but it wasn't added until Gen 4. I see. Neutral damage. That's fine. Hmm. Well, it wasn't a big it wasn't really a big deal because of Icicle of Spears power, is because it came with Shell Smash in Gen 5. <laughs> Shell Smash Cloister. Obviously the BP increase on Icicle of Spear helps. But, you know, Shell Smash was uh wacky. And we've seen uh Cincino with skill link as well. Uh, skill Link King's Rock. Going 50 to 125 is kind of nutty. You got a point there. That is correct. It still had Rock Blast coverage, and it did have Razor Shell, which it could be used, and it would have plus two attack. But since, you know, showed that, you know, Tail Slap, fucking Tail Slap, Rock Blast, Bullet Seed with King's Rock. And skill link. It could still do a lot of damage. And it was hella annoying because each one of those uh, different moves had a chance to roll a flinch on you. And somehow Cloyster still does... Like, Cloyster is such an obnoxious one-trick Pokemon that if you see him, you know what he's going to do. But sometimes you're hard-pressed to deal with it. But he's still not a very good Pokemon. He's probably one of the most obnoxious Pokemon in the entire series. 
for for the reasons I just stated, but like he's still not considered like super super good because I guess the counterplay is just use a special attack on him. <laughs> Sakuya. Life or <laughs> explosion cloister. That's that's nutty. They would never expect it. They would just never expect it. You get your boost. You get your boost on the switch and then you explode on bulky water and they don't even know you have a life orb because you didn't use an offensive move. Does Cloyster usually run Sash or White Herb? I feel like White Herb is kind of pointless. But White Herb is usually run with Shell Smash Mons with good bulk on one side of the spectrum, which... Cloyster does have good physical defense, but no special defense. Oh, Apache. Oh, neat. Sash makes the most sense. Because, again, special attacks. White Herb isn't going to do anything about those. Nice. Pain. Okay. Anti, uh, anti meta sets are pretty funny. I like the idea of running Pokemon with sets that are just completely unexpected because the the common the common set on uh, on the Pokemon is pretty much the only set you will ever ever see. So you can run like you can run counters counters like that, like no one's looking for a, no one's looking for a life orb explosion cloister, right? No one. That's just not happening. When they see cloister, they are 100% correct in assuming it's going to be exactly what they should expect to see in like an OU format. But then you know you just completely get the drop on them because they they expected that. I'm pretty sure that was actually a big reason. That says to why Darmanitan got banned. Like Galarian Darmanitan. A girl that practices magic of all elements. Very frail. Darmanitan was, uh, was, you know, it ran Gorilla Tactics 90% of the time. However, its other ability, Zen Mode, was still really good. And it could use Belly Drum to put itself into it. So if you predicted wrong, if you predicted incorrectly, that it was, uh, that it was Gorilla Tactics, which you should always assume it's Gorilla Tactics anyway, because that's the most common build. And then suddenly you're, you know, you're, you switch, you switch and you, you just got belly drummed. You got sub belly drummed by Zenmo Darmanitan. It's just like, okay. So they get, the, the Darmanitan can get away with that kind of set because its other set is so much better and more common that you just have, you, you run, you like have a luxury of people just assuming even if they think that you're not running the Gorilla Tactics set, if they play in a way, like in probabilities, they would probability, like probability-wise, they should play in a way that deals with the Gorilla Tactics set, right? Not the way that deals with the Zen Mode set. But then the Zen Mode set gets away on that, and then you, you know, congratulations, you gotta fight Zen Mode. You gotta fight a sub belly drum Zen Mode, uh, Darmanitan in front of you, plus six Zen Mode running all kinds of shit. Oh no, this trainer is going to be annoying. Okay, Letty's, I believe, pure ice. I miss Hita Fajita. Back when Pokeaim ran these wild ass obtuse sets. Oh no, that's annoying. Ah oh, shit. Okay, it's neutral. Just because you could. Like, you could run, like, uh, he had, he had Quick Attack, Landform, Shaman. And he actually got a kill with it. He switched in on, a, like, a, on a, uh, a, a sa I think it was, I don't know if it was Sash or not, but it was definitely, like, a, I think it was, like, a Scizor. But he switched in. He switched in on, like, a, a low HP, uh, Pokemon with Shaman, Landform. And he pressed Quick Attack and killed it. And his opponent was like, wow, <laughs> didn't see that coming. That's... That's heat. That's funny. <laughs> okay, it was Notori.
A good example of an anti-meta Pokemon. Not even because like they're uh, a specific set that goes against what you're expecting, but just because they, they did well against everything in the meta, would be Alolan Marowak. Alolan Marowak was a really good Pokemon in early Gen 7 meta because it had, uh, apparently it was a strong, it was a pretty strong check. I don't know if it was a, a hard counter to Faramosa, but it handled, uh, it handled Faramosa and the Tapus pretty well with its typing and its stat, uh, like its move pool. So the Pokemon itself, you know, it was all right, but it, but it, the reason it was so used is because it had favorable matchups and some of the most common Pokemon in the meta. Pretty sure Elena from Street Fighter 4 is a similar boat where she's not a she's like a mid-tier character who has favorable matchups against a bunch of top tiers, but she doesn't really have good matchups against other characters. So she's in this strange kind of limbo. Heart dark, heart dark, heart dark. Okay. She's in this strange limbo of being a mid-tier despite her her good matchup spread against good characters. <laughs> Because her matchup spread against worse characters or mid tiers is, is like bad. It's so weird. She's so strange. All right. That would mean that Faith is neutral on Dark. Okay, that's good to know. Kasume. Man, I still don't really know what to do with this one. Hmm. Something, a special earth move would be fantastic, but all I have is physical ones. Oh, Faith is strong on Dark as well. Okay. Alright, good to know. I mean, I'll forget, but good to know. <laughs> some of the some of the type chart in this game is hard to remember because it doesn't immediately make sense to me. It's not going to heal that much. The way I remember the the main triangle is with faith, reason, and heart. Is that reason can explain fa uh, reason can explain faith? You know, atheism to Christianity, I suppose. That's how I remember that. Uh, heart beats reason because you can't reason with the heart. And then faith beats heart because you know, blind faith is blind faith like that is something that comes from a lack of uh, logic, I suppose. I don't know. But the general idea is there, and it helps me remember how it goes. Faith sways the heart. That's a good way to remember it, yeah. Everybody stop. Think. Dream, however, I don't know. I don't know. Still in a dream. Doesn't make any sense. Super awesome. Nice job, dude. You did it. He had six pogies. Hmm. There's no explanation, really, as to what Dream is good against and why, other than that it's fighting type, so it's good against types that fighting type is good against, except maybe Dark, I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> why the fuck is Dream good against Steel? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but then when you try to rationalize it as like, oh, it's because it's fighting type, basically, and then it, 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 it's not very effective against Dark types, it's just like, what the hell? Oh, that's mailing. Well, dream, uh, dream type in puppet dance performance is like it's a super rare type that doesn't have any weaknesses or super effective uh, hits. It's like a purely neutral type. Yeah, it's a good thing fighting type came back. But fighting's good against Earth, which was weird to me. That one I, I never got used to. I always forgot. Also, sound. I, I could never remember Sound's matchup chart, because Sound type is stupid, and it will always be stupid. Lily White! How was that not super effective? Spadef up. How about a crit poison? Jamming, that's fine, that's just mean look. Now, if she has something like recover, I'm gonna be annoyed. Okay, we're fine. Reason is the ultimate enemy of 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 yokai, anyway. What? 
What? What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is <laughs> Why can Lily go boom? Louise. I don't know what you are. This is an undefined type. That's a hell of an announcement for spring. Why can Lily White explode? <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to tell what this this, pu this puppet's type is just by knowing who the character is. I have to assume it's something like Dream or something like that because it's so undescript that you could fit it into it. I don't know. Alright, that works. Blinding Voice is a two-hit KO. Hmm. Nature sound. Fuck. A powerful attack with no added effects. Hey, that's kind of poggers. Um... Well, I have medicine, I guess, but... No, I want it. I want... No, I want... No, I, actually, I don't want this because Kasume is still super effective against uh, both of uh, Kyoko's types. Um, to be honest, I don't need this because I have two nature types already with Needle Arm and Energy Light. So I have both ends of the spectrum covered and it won't even improve my matchup against Kasume anyway. Could have me... Could have me, could have me, could have me, could have me. He's dark, right? Faith is good against dark. It's a good move, but my my team comp doesn't really need it. I also don't want to get rid of yawn, and I can't get rid of flash. Slap! That could have me is quite large. God damn! All right. Hmm. Do you get free e learns? Ha! <laughs> I don't think so. But I, I'm not sure. Pretty sure you need to use UFOs for it. Tokiko. Flash to 60 base power, so it's at least respectable. I don't need it anymore. I should probably get rid of it, but I don't remember where the move deleter is. I think he's in Lily Cove. Or maybe he was in Fall Arbor. I, have, I don't remember. Nice. I would love Ice Beam over Aurora Beam, but I don't think Alice is going to learn that. Wow, double attack drop. Well, that's effective. Wow. Oh, we're speed tied. You swap with an end with Fall Arbor. Okay, because I remember seeing uh, one of my UFO descriptions said the move tutor in Lily Cove, but I don't remember a move tutor in Lily Cove. Kotohime? Uh, she's Dream, isn't she? She's either Dream or Heart. And we're going to see now. Well, I'm stuck here anyway. Okay, that's neutral. Well, it's two a KO on neutral. She might be a combination of the two. I don't know. It's hard to tell with neutral hits because there are a lot of dual types in the world. Medicine. I don't even have to switch. All right. Alice would be one of the few characters who can just completely destroy medicine. Her and Eden, I suppose, are the perfect types to counter it. I have gotten a revive. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Battle! Joy. I think this is the last trainer in my way before Mount Pyre. 
forgot. I forgot Eden does that. All right. Uh, I actually don't like this situation very much. Uh oh. Poison jab. Okay. She's poison reason, right? I don't remember. And Kaguya, I don't know what Kaguya's type is. I assume she's nature something. But she's uh, she's definitely more of a support mon, so... I'll just keep picking on Aiden. That's fine. Hit him with a willow. So has recovered too. Oh my god. She's nature reason. Oh. Okay. Well, that'll stop the poison jab from doing too much, at least. I can burn Kaguya for chip. Never mind. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. All right. <laughs> Damn it. So she's got burn powder, recover, cotton spore. I feel like her last is probably rest. Uh, nature reason. Well, that means beast is neutral against her. I can't leech seed her either. Oh, burner. What is good against this fucking pogey? Fire? And heart, I guess. Oh, an energy light. She doesn't have rest. Okay, so I can chip her out. No problem there. Alright, alright. And so it begins! Neutral damage! I don't have any flying type moves though. I'm, I'm lacking in a flying type and a wind type. If I had Aya, I would cover both of those. I don't have a dark type move either. I do have ghost. I got a little bit of heart. Fire, I... Every type I'm fucking lacking, huh? Oh well. It's okay, it's over. We're done. Why are they only attacking medicine? There you go. Nice. Nice. I did it. I have completed the objective. Well, I guess now I head back to Lily Cove. The city of Lily. Here I am. There's no lilies though. Nowhere. Maribel's there though. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to stop there though. It's been two hours. I got through the route. I don't think I need to do any grinding. I'm pretty okay on levels, I think. Uh, I guess I could check out the, the pogies I caught first. Yeah, yeah, I got a mo- I got a moo cow. See? Adamant flame body. That's pretty good. Except no speed. So, you know, no defense. Miasma flying changes types foe moves. Brave nature. That is fucking atrocious. Cool. Very cool. Reason. Relaxed nature. Trace. Wow. I don't remember what relax does. I'm pretty sure it's special defense up. And up. Uh, speed down. I can't remember. <clears throat> the nurse does a good job. It handles my, my puppets with care. Can't judge it on its appearance alone. 
Dr. Yakugoro, please help me. Okay. Whom's for thumbnail? Good question. Uh, hmm. Um, um, I guess, I don't know. I can't remember anything that stuck out to me, I suppose. Um, I guess let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, yeah, new. Regular new. Let's go with that one. And I suppose, uh, Lily, because Lily Cove. There you go. Lily and new. Classic. Perfection. Good job, team. We, we solved it. Yeah, next time, Mount Pyre, I suppose. I, I, yeah, Lily White. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to Fortree, but I probably will at least try, I suppose, to see if I can beat it with levels. And if I can't, then ho, 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 ho. yeesh, I don't know what I'm gonna do.